Okay, guys, so last night we were in here and we uh, used the bladder press and we pressed off the white grapes. So yesterday was Monday. We uh, pressed them off in the evening after work, um, made a final adjustment to the, uh, to the juice, and, uh, and then got the yeast all stirred in with everything else. I didn't videotape any of it only because we're going to be pressing a ton of red wine here in the next couple uh, couple weeks. And quite honestly, pressing is pressing. It doesn't matter if it's white or red. When you do it with the bladder press, it's all the same. So we'll get that set up and uh, get it going. I uh, just want to roll over here and show you the big blue blob. All our uh, juice and grapes are under there right now. And uh, I just got out from under there, made sure that all the airlocks are still on the white juice. Um, and uh, basically, I got a heater going in there, 70 degrees. Uh, current temp in the garage is about 50, eh, 55, 50, somewhere in there. So, not terrible, not good. It's getting cold. Let me just kind of pull it up and show you. not gonna see very much yeah, not much to see to tell you the truth really it's just nice and warm in there so when you're in Chicago you deal with the cold when you're in Arizona you deal with the heat you want your temperatures to be constant in the uh, area that you're fermenting your grapes in so Hot fermentation on red is going to give you more jammy um, notes, cooked fruit type notes. Cool fermentation is going to always give you a little bit more of the light fruitiness. So it's kind of a guessing game as to where you end up, depending on your, again, style of wine that you like. White, on the other hand, the cooler it ferments, the more aromatic it is. Um... So it's always good to ferment your white in a much cooler temperature, 60, 70 degrees. So on that note, all my white is underneath that tarp right now. Once it gets fired up, really pumping, it's coming out from underneath the tarp for the most part. Um, and actually, I'll probably end up turning the temp down to like 65 underneath the tarp because the red is going to self-sustain itself. It's going to keep itself pretty darn warm. The white, on the other hand, I want it to be a little bit cooler. So, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, if you're in a warm climate like Arizona, you really have to either create a chill room or invest in a glycol chiller and uh, run some cooling plates in your fermentation vessels. Um Neither of them is impossible, right? You could always throw an air conditioning in your garage, make a little separate small wine room, and you really just want to get it to 75 degrees, which is far from impossible, right? If you insulate, create a little room in your garage and insulate it, you could easily keep it at 75 degrees, no problem. So anyhow, this is kind of where we're at today. Tomorrow, I will be back. We will punch some grapes down show you guys how fermentation is starting to pop off and uh, you know hopefully uh, move some of these whites out so they can keep cool and go from there all right guys thank you